Kevin Coker, 814 Garfield. I'm here to discuss a uh, project. I'm a local professional building designer. Uh, I've had a discussion with Mr. Johnson. Uh, he's aware of it, but I wanted all the commissioners to be aware that um, a project that I submitted for permit on the 24th of March, um, after having two preliminary meetings with the county and at submittal, I was given particular requirements, which is normal with my work and with the requirements of the uh, DCD. Um, at the time, the setbacks after an engineering um, uh, requirements were all met. There was a 50-foot setback from top of the bank. On April 24th, a uh, month later, we were told that the setbacks had changed and this was going to be retroactive to the 18th of March. Um, very concerned, started to do some uh, review and what uh, was being discussed by the DCD and Phil Morley, the county administrator, was that the law that Red Water had signed into uh, law on the 18th was why they had selected the 18th. However, it's contrary to current law, RCW 19.27.0, which clearly states that at the time of submittal, current law is what that building project will be vested under. Um, in later discussions with uh, uh, both Phil and Al, um, they cited that they had legal counsel review. Um, I discussed this with Lynn Kessler's office, who put me in touch with Ethan Moreno, who was one of the actual legislators who helped to draft the law. He said quite clearly that although the law was listed as retroactive, it was a statement to the Supreme Court that the law that stood in 2003 was misinterpreted in 2008 and should not uh, be in effect. However, that each jurisdiction, meaning every city, county, and jurisdiction that has a building department will determine for themselves how to enact this law based on the law that was on the tables. Um, I'm going to hand you uh, a document that also lists uh, six uh, vest, um, vestment um, laws in the past that have, uh, have been upheld um, by the state, um, each of them having something to do with the vesting. Um, I'm concerned because there was a lack of information given to the public. Um, there was a round table 10 days ago, it was very helpful to get together with professionals in the field um, and the various departments with the county. Um, what most of us have determined was that there's just a lack of communication going on between the DCD and the public. And we need to have things like this not pulled on us after the fact and in direct violation of current law. Um, it is not conceivable that we were not told in advance of this. And in the future, I would recommend that this kind of thing is brought to the public um, and not taken out of our hands to be doing something with it. This affects not only this client of mine, but other clients of mine. It negatively impacts my businesses and other businesses in the county. Thank you. Uh, 